Uh, hello, Sam. How are you? Yeehaw, yeehaw. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mary and this is Katie from Skeletalk hey. Art she has a YouTube channel Instagram Twitter mm -hmm. and Twitch I think I'd like to soon maybe next year Start maybe next it. year yeah. stay tuned but yes I brought her over to my channel because it's Christmas time and what better way to spend Christmas than with your friends mm -hmm. so we are gonna watch a really old movie in the yeah. year 1947 <laughs> it was released <laughs> i'm actually a little bit nervous yeah. about watching this because i think the only old film that i've watched is a film called double indemnity which is a film noir and i watched it while i was in university studying film and other than that i haven't really seen films from the 1940s i've seen frankenstein frankenstein uh, all right uh, jekyll and hyde Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's films? that's why I haven't seen it. <laughs> horror is not really my thing, but Katie, Katie loves horror. Yeah. I would say your shirt has some horror themes in horror it. Horror themes. Horror themes because Skyrim is like a horror game, isn't it? It's a fantasy game. It's a fantasy game, but it has some jump scares. It's, well, yeah, I guess it has some scary stuff in it. It has yeah. vampires that stuff. like werewolves. Yeah, vampires, werewolves, they, they, they just attack you at random points. <laughs> it, it was horrific. This is spooky stuff. Like, there's, like, a haunted house. For me, personally, I've only seen Double Indemnity, and then this will be my second olden day film. Released in 1947. It's a black and white film. I haven't read into the synopsis. Nope. Katie hasn't about it. either. Um, and... I only know the name and that it's a really big... Yeah, that is a classic. Like, yeah, a classic. I've heard the same. I know it's a classic, but I only discovered the title of this film as I was searching for Christmas movies mm. that were classics to watch for the month of Merry Christmas. No, I'm joking. That's not a thing. <laughs> no, it should be. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Yeah, yeah cuz I have God. I have scary cherry for the month of October. There you go then. There you go. And uh, maybe Perfect. Merry Christmas yeah. can be the thing that we do <laughs> every year for Christmas. I don't know. If it's if it's a vibe, it's a vibe. Let me know if it's cringe. <laughs> Don't tell me it's cringe, because my feelings will be deeply hurt. Put it down below. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go into this blind. The director I am familiar with because of some of the Planet of the Apes films, mm. but I actually haven't seen all of the films that he's made. However, his name is familiar to me because of the Planet of the Apes. But other than that, haven't seen what he's made, but. I am going to jump into this with an open mind. Yeah. Everyone loves this film, so I'm excited for it regardless. Before we do jump into it, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version. That's going to be over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below. Down in the description bar, you can also find all of Katie's social media handles, mm -hmm. her YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and you can also find all of my social media handles as well and my two other channels. All of that down below. All right, guys, I think we're ready to jump into It's a Wonderful Life. Frank Tupper, oh, the transition style. I do this more often. The audio, even the text. It's all on paper, isn't it? So vintage. Yeah, it's pretty. Joseph, Jesus, and Mary, help my friend, Mr. Bailey. Help my son, George, tonight. Give him a break, God. Please, God. People were definitely yeah. more religious Daddy. back in the 40s. I thought that they were more closer as well. Yeah. Like just more of a community. community for sure. Yeah. Hello, Joseph. Trouble? Looks like we'll have to send someone down. The Holy a Holy Trinity. Of people asking for help. <laughs> yes, tonight's his crucial night. You're right. Whose turn is it? Joseph, send for Clarence. Oh. <laughs> you sent for me, sir? Yes, Clarence. A man down on earth <laughs> needs our help. It's just me. Like, the top then shape I've looks like a mummy. A mummy? A mummy. Oh. <laughs> Sir, might I perhaps win my wings? I've been waiting for over 200 years now, sir, and people are beginning to talk. 200 <laughs> years? Oh, Clarence, you do a good job with George Bailey, and you'll get your wings. Oh, thank oh, you, sir. Good for him. Hey, who's that? That's your problem, George Bailey. Oh, so wholesome. Oh, yeah. That's him when he was 12, back in 1919. 1919. 1919. Oh, it's fun. I want to do that. I could be wrong, but isn't 1990 the year of the Depression? That's saved cold. his brother's life that day, but he caught a bad cold which infected his left ear. Oh, no. It cost him his hearing in that ear. It was weeks before he was able to go back to his after-school job. Oh, that's oh, a shame. Wish I had a million dollars. Hot dog! 
<laughs> this kid is going to grow up to be a model just because he has like perfect features. Hello, George. Her name's Shirley Susan. Two cents worth of shoelaces? She was here first. I'm still thinking. Shoelaces? Please, Georgie. <laughs> I like him. You like every boy. What's wrong with that? Cute. Flat <laughs> <laughs> shaming her. <laughs> down. They kind of talk like adults, but also children. Yeah. I'll take chocolate. With coconuts? I don't like coconuts. Mm. Don't you know where <laughs> coconuts come from? Look at here. Just has okay. it in his pocket. <laughs> it's like pulls out of his inventory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. Is this the year you can't hear on? George Bailey, I'll love you till the day I die. I'm going out exploring someday. You oh. watch. Aww. A of oh, and you didn't three hear. Or four three or four? Okay, mate. Settle down. <laughs> Calm down. We were to inform that son Robert died very suddenly this morning of influenza. Oh, no. That is not good news. Mm. Kid's going to tell him. Do you want something? Anything I can do back here? Oh. I'll get them, sir. Take, take those caps and over Mrs. Blaine. Oh, he, he already for. knows. Yeah. Well, that makes sense because yeah, the letter was, was open and he was sour. Mm. They have the diphtheria there, haven't they, sir? Yeah. Is it a charge, sir? Yes, charge. Mr. Gower, I think. Oh, that guy. Yes, sir. Mm. As a parent, that is the hardest thing. Yeah, for sure. Having your kid die before oh, you. Worst thing ever. Are you running a business or a charity war? Well, I'm not I'm... with my money. Oh, I suppose I should give it to miserable failures like you and that Sweet. idiot brother of yours. It's always the money. richest dudes yeah, that are the cheapest that, mofos. Mm. You're getting paid? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, no. Child no. abuse, oh, child no. labor. Oh, God. Oh, is it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. She's here. You got the telegram and you're upset. You put something bad in those capsules. It wasn't your fault, Mr. Gower. Oh. I know you feel bad. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Don't hear my story again. Oh, no, Don't hear no, no, my no. story again. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Is that his bad ear as well? Yeah, he said sorry ear. I know you're oh. feeling. Oh, what a so sweet so little boy. What'd you stop it for? Who is it? George Bailey. Ah, oh, no. he's older. Yeah. It's a good face. He didn't I grow like up it. to be a model. No. <laughs> Did he ever tell anyone about okay. the pills? Not a soul. Did he ever marry the girl? Did he ever go exploring? Oh. Well, wait and see. He was. I could use that as a wrap in case the boat sunk. He was. He willikers. <laughs> What's my name doing on here? A little present from old man Gawa. Came down and picked it out himself. He did? Oh, oh that's nice. Thanks ever so much for the bag. It's just exactly what I wanted. Oh, oh look at that. Still alive. Oh, I wish I had a million dollars. Good afternoon, Mr. Bailey. Ooh, she's oh, pretty. Violet. Oh, she wears a hat over and over. Yeah. Oh, it's Violet. It is, yeah. Well, I only wear it when I don't care how I look. <laughs> oh. Dude, get out the road. Oh, look at the cars. Yeah, they're not. I they're like missing. those cars. George, Harry, you're shaking the house down. Stop it. Oh, George and Harry, such classic old names. That's why all children should be girls. Well, if they were all girls, there wouldn't be any. Oh, <laughs> 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 I wouldn't mind boys if they just carried me around yeah, everywhere. Same. Like sons, not boys, just to George, be clear. You lay a hand on me, I'll hit you with this broom. Oh. Annie, I'm in love with you. There's a moon out there. <laughs> he's such a oh, jokester. I like him. They're so fun. Oh, he's a sick man. Frustrated, sick in his mind, sick in his soul if he has one. Rich he hates dude? everybody mm -hmm. that has anything that he can't have. He hates us mostly, I guess. Yeah. What a way to live your life. Yeah. I suppose you've decided what you want to do when you get out of college. Oh, well, you know what I've always talked about. Build things, design new buildings, plan modern cities. All that stuff I've been talking Still about. After that An engineer? Lady, Must be smart. Well, Annie, why, why, why don't you draw up a chair? Then you'd be more comfortable and you could hear everything that's going on. I would if I thought I'd hear anything worth <laughs> listening to. <You> <laughs> this town is no place for any man unless he's willing to crawl to Potter. Now, you've got talent, son. You get yourself an education and get out of here. That's nice. That's good of his dad. Parents are good. I think you're a great guy. Support is all a kid needs, really. Mm. Boy, did you hear that, Annie? I heard it's about <laughs> time one who loves it. Live music. 
Hell yeah. Well, freshman, looks like you're gonna make it after all, huh? Hey, Harry, you're the Hello, guy Sam. I want to see here. They all have the same hairstyle. Yeah, they do. Well, you better make it fast. We need great ends like you. Not broken down old guys like this one, huh? <laughs> George! This guy's so annoying. Hello, Violet. Oh, Violet. Will you remember my kid sister, Mary? Dance with her, will you? Oh, me? Oh, well, I feel funny enough already with all these kids. Oh, oh what about Violet? Violet? Such and a crowded area. Yeah. Trip. That's the reason why I came in fourth. Oh, shit. But hadn't it been that, that, that her? Crazy She's beautiful. Yeah. Are there two love interests? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> he did want a few wives. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is my day. She's well, like, thank you for saving <laughs> me from this guy. Hey, uh, you look at me as if you didn't know me. Well, I don't. Ah, oh, no. there's a little girl named Mary Hatch. That's what you. <laughs> she grew up. Yeah. Those not tapped by the judges will remain on the floor. Let's go. Can you imagine in today's age if men and women danced oh. with each other like this? It's cute though. I like it. I love it, it though. Yeah. But it's just you would never see it. Don't. Like people don't do that nowadays. It's sad. Yeah, I love it. It's so nice. It looks fun. It's so uh, yeah, I know. And everybody knows what to do as yeah. well because they've had practice for a few years. <laughs> That'll be me. <laughs> What's the matter, Othello? Jealous? Oh. Did you know there's a swimming pool under this floor? And did you know that button behind you causes this floor to open up? Uh-oh. No. And Don't do it. Don't do it. I've got the key. Oh, oh, what a troublemaker. No. It's the devil Don't in his ear. That. You're going to ruin the no. entire dance. Surely everyone's going to fall in. Yeah, everyone's going to fall. <gasps> Most people were smart, though. No, 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 no. They're too into it. They don't know. Don't. Oh. Pay attention. Oh, my God. Oh, it's just oh, close it's every time. <laughs> they're cheering us. Oh, that's why. Yeah. They think they're being cheered. <laughs> I guess they are. Oh, no. <gasps> it actually happened. <laughs> They're still dancing. <laughs> Good for them. That's what I you love play that. <laughs> oh, oh, everyone's going in. They've started a trend. Good. That's actually oh, super too. fun. They are too. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, him too. <laughs> Buffalo girls, can't you come out tonight? Can't you come out tonight? Can't you come out tonight? Buffalo girls, can't you come out tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I told Harry I thought I'd be bored to death. I had to knock down three people to get this stuff we're wearing. You you look wonderful. You know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest Aww, girl in town. He's sweet. Why don't, don't you say it? Like that? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe me I too. <laughs> How old are you anyway? 18. 18? It was only last year you were 17. Three the same age. Too young or too old? Oh, no, no. Crazy, that. Just right. Your age fits you. You look a little older without your clothes on. I mean, without a dress, you look older. Oh. I, I mean, younger. You look... look you just... Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> He's oh, just no, shot no. himself in the foot Sir, there. By train. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no. Uh -oh. Your caboose, me lady. You may kiss my hand. Mm. Hey, Mary. As I was lumbering down the street. <laughs> She's playing hard okay, to get. Man, Good. It's full of romance, that old place. I'd like to live in it. In that place? I wouldn't live in as a ghost. Now watch. It says oh. right in the second floor there, see? And it looks it's haunted. Lovely. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Nice shot. Nice shot, shot, but we sure. shouldn't do that, though. <laughs> Mary, I know what I'm going to do tomorrow and the next day and next year and the year after that. I'm shaking the dust of this crummy little town off my feet and I'm going to see the world. Big oh, dreams. Greece. Yeah, good. I'm going to build bridges a mile long. Where does she fit in, though? She's up? probably wondering. But she can come, too. Hey, that's pretty good. Wow. What'd you wish, Mary? It's a good shot as well. Yeah. Oh, no. Come on, no. tell me. If I don't... <laughs> She's not going to tell you. You want, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw you a lasso stop around asking. and pull it down. Oh, hey, that's, that's so I think sweet. I've seen this scene the about the moon. Really? So that's cute. Am I talking too much? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you kiss her instead of talking to her, Dick? <laughs> Want me to kiss her, huh? Yeah, stop talking, oh, dude. Oh, you just wasted on the wrong people. <laughs> That's so hey. funny that he says that. Hey, hold on. Hey, mister, come on back out here. I'll show you some kiss and will put hair back on your head. What are you... Oh. No. <gasps> uh -oh. oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. <laughs> She's obviously behind a bush. Yeah. She's not going to be under there. <laughs> okay, I give up. Where are you? In the hydrangea bushes. <laughs> so awkward. Not the hydrangea like bushes. What am I doing? Come and get it. <laughs> this is a very interesting situation. Uh Please give me my robe. <laughs> Man, doesn't get 
a situation like this every day. It's so I'd like funny. to have my robe. Not in bed for fall. <laughs> Shame on you. I'm going to tell your mother on you. Well, your way up from the corner there. <laughs> Try and get to her. Yeah. Police. They're way downtown. They'd be on my side, too. <laughs> oh, He's like 1947. <laughs> I'll make a deal with you, Mary. Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah, Your father's happened? had a stroke. <gasps> oh. Mary, Mary, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Come on, George. Let's hurry. Oh, you got a doctor? Yeah. That's so sad. Surely she had that. Surely. Surely. I want the board to know that George gave up his trip to Europe to help straighten things out here these oh. past few months. I reckon she wished that. Yeah, maybe. And now her wishes come true. Yeah. Don't worry about that. They're putting us out of business. So what? I can get oh. another job. I'm only 55. 56. Oh, only 50. Hey, look, George, they voted Potter down. They want to keep it going. Oh, you did it, George. You did it. Oh. Oh. Only one condition. What's that? Oh. And that's the best part of What's it. That? They've appointed George here as executive secretary to take his father's place. That's not what he wanted for himself. I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. I'm going to school. This is my last chance. Uncle Billy here. He's your man. But, George, they'll vote with Potter otherwise. Oh, no. And he, can't, he won't have that. Not only that, but he gave his school money to his brother Harry and sent him to college. Oh, Harry became that's a football sad. star. George Bailey, you sweet man. Yeah. There she blows. You know what the three most exciting sounds in the world are? Uh huh. Breakfast is served, lunch is served, oh, dinner. No, 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 no. <laughs> there she blows <laughs> again. <laughs> Say, where's mother? She's home cooking Those the fatted calf. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait, wait. I want you to meet Ruth. Hello. Ruth well, Dakin Bailey, if oh. you don't mind. Are they got hey, married? Well, what am I doing? Congratulations. Oh, uh, nice there. to meet you. <laughs> That's really Why you odd. Oh, What's a pretty girl like you doing, man? Yeah. That's brother. really Why you odd. He was purely mercenary. My father offered him a job. Oh, he got you and the job. Well, Harry's. <laughs> George, about that job, Bruce spoke out of turn. I never said I'd take it. You've been holding the bag here for four years, and well, I won't let you down, George. Oh, I would like good. To hey, Joe, Joe. Oh. Bit chaotic. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I feel so good. I could spit in Potter's eye. I think I will. I think I will. <laughs> Do it. No, oh, maybe I better go home. Think you should. Now you just turn this way. I'm then right straight down there. My wild <laughs> Still drunk there. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, his dreams. Yeah. He had so much hope. So lively. Did you know that Mary Hatch is back from school? Mm -hmm. Came back three days ago. Ooh. Now, if you'll just point me in the right direction. This direction. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, well, wait a minute. I think I got a date. <laughs> but, uh, look around, though, it's just in case, huh? Oh, there's Violet. Love it, George. I know. So pretty. Are you game, Vi? Let's make a night of it. Oh, I'd love it, Georgie. What'll we do? Let's go out in the fields and take off our shoes and walk through the grass. Huh? Oh. Then we can go up to the falls. It's beautiful up there in the moonlight. And there's a green pool. He's like, we... excuse me. Oh, does she not like that? And watch the sunrise against the peaks. And that we'll sounds stay up there perfect. The whole night and yeah, that be sounds lovely. Georgie, have about... you gone crazy? No, Why, walk in the grass in my bare feet. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay just forget about it. Yeah, he's going for a hike. Oh. He just wants adventure because yeah, he hasn't traveled. He's my kind of man <laughs> yeah he's such a sweetheart and all those ideas as well yeah. that's like really rare mm, <laughs> to have that many ideas for a day <laughs> do all of it yeah what, what, are you doing? what are you doing picketing oh mary i just happened to be passing by here yes so i noticed <laughs> have you made up your mind how's that have you made up your mind about what about coming in. My <laughs> mother just phoned and said you were on your way over to pay me a visit. His oh. mom has no mom chill. <laughs> I'll be downstairs, mother. All right, dear. She's so excited. Yeah. George Lasso. <gasps> oh, cute. oh, that's really sweet. <gasps> Is she an artist? I think oh. so. Well, are you coming in or aren't you? Well, I'll come in for a minute. <laughs> but I, I... That's cute. Kill it! <laughs> Dude, yeah, Jesus! Let's get that dress. You like it? Alright. Hey. What? Mm -hmm. I thought you would go back to New York like Sam and Angie and the rest of them. I don't know. I, I guess I was homesick. Homesick? For Bedford Falls? Wow, he's yes. gotten so sour. Yeah. Doesn't he think that she's with someone else? Mm. 
Some joke, huh? Uh, what the heck? Nice about your brother Harry and Ruth, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Don't you like her? Well, of course I like her. She's a peach. <laughs> oh, marriage in general you're not enthusiastic about. No, no, marriage is all right for Harry and Marty and Sam and you. Ah, uh, that's why. Mary. Mary. <laughs> well. Wow. with you? It's George Bailey, mother. George Bailey? What's he want? <gasps> I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> He's making violent love to me, mother. <laughs> you tell him to go right back home. And don't leave the house either. Sam Wainwright promised to call you from New York tonight. What's your mother? You know, I, I didn't come here to... What did you come here for, then? Uh, no, no, you hmm. tell me. You're supposed to be the one that has all the answers. You tell me. Why don't you go home? That's where I'm going. I don't know why I came here in the first place. Wow. Good night. Good night. Do you not leave us He's house? changed. The years have not been kind. He's upset about Sam. Yeah. But he's taking it out on her. Yeah. He hasn't seen her it's in so fair. long. It's not fair. Yeehaw. Hello, Sam. How are you? Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> There's an old friend of yours here, George Bailey. Yeehaw. George. He doesn't want to speak to George, you idiot. He does so. He asked for him. George. <laughs> George. Mom does not like George Bailey. What are you trying to do? Steal my girl? Nobody's trying to steal anybody's girl. Here, here, <laughs> here here's Mary. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Here, you. Mother's on the attention week. I am not. <laughs> hey, Mom, listening then. <laughs> we're, we're listening, Sam. Well, look, I have oh. a big deal coming up that's going to make us all rich. Oh, it's getting hot in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you even so listening to him? Well, they aren't. Oh, my gosh. The tension oh. is so oh. real. Uh, I'm here. It's a chance of a lifetime. He says it's a chance of a lifetime. Oh my goodness. Gracious it. me. Now you listen to me. I don't want any plastics. I don't want any ground floors. And I don't want to get married ever to anyone. You understand that? What? I want to do what I want to do. And you're... And you're... Oh, what the f complicated? He's so oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Go away, mom. <laughs> We're busy. Oh my gosh! Oh, do they get married? <gasps> they did. That was such an intense scene. <laughs> I have no idea. I was like not even listening to the conversation yeah. on the phone for like... Well, they weren't, so... <laughs> what about his adventures, though? I guess she's just going to have to come with. Yeah. Like honeymoon. Good. Do something cool and fun. Annie, we're just two old maids now. You speak for yourself, Miss B. <laughs> <laughs> she's so sassy. Where are you two going on this here now, honeymoon? Where are we going? We're going to shoot the works. A whole week in New York, a whole week in Bermuda, the highest hotel. Bermuda, yeah. And the Richest caviar, the hottest music, and the prettiest wife. Oh. <laughs> then what? Then what, honey? After that, who cares? Oh, that come here, come here, come here. <laughs> He's so happy yeah. now. Don't look now, but there's something funny going on over there at the bank, uh -oh. George. Who cares? Just try. I know. <laughs> it's not your problem no. anymore. It's a honeymoon. Focus Go on, on your that. travels. Go on your adventures. No. It's not important. Yeah, don't stop. It's your wedding day. Literally, like, where are his priorities? All I know is the bank called alone. When? About an hour ago, I handled all, all our cash. All of it? Every cent of it and still was less than we owe them. Holy What? Man. George, it's Potter. Oh, great. Oh, not him. I may lose a fortune, but I am willing to guarantee your people, too. Oh, you never miss a trick, do you, Potter? He's, he's in a pickle. But, George, I got my money here. Did he guarantee this place? I got $242 in here. Okay, Tom. All right. But then everyone's going to want it. This, yeah. you your... Old man Potter will pay 50 cents on the dollar for every share you got. Well, what do you say? That's oh, tempting. Uh, Are you going to Potter's? Better to get half than nothing. Uh, he's just impatient. Uh, I would wait. Now, listen to me. I, I beg of you not to do this thing. If Potter gets a hold of this building and alone, there'll never be another decent house built in this town. The he's already in charge of the bank. Mm. He's Joe, you had one of those Potter houses, didn't you? Well, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten what he charged you for that broken down shack? Yeah, yeah, cool for it. It. Potter isn't selling. Potter's buying. And why? Because we're panicky and he's not, that's why. Yeah. We've got to stick together, though. We've got to have faith in each other. I got Dr. Bruce to pay. Mm. I need cash. I can't keep my kids on faith. I've got to so have How much do you need? Oh, oh no. no. Here's two thousand dollars. Gonna dip so into the her, their honeymoon money. Could I have seventeen fifty? 
It's cute. Oh my god, the seconds. Yeah. Yay. Oh, that's good. We still got two bucks left. Well, look, Yay! Well, a couple of financial wizards. Oh, awesome. <laughs> no, financial right. wizard. Okay, let's put them in the safe and see what happens. <laughs> 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 da, 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 da. I know this tune. Look, will you get my wife on the phone? She's probably over at her mother's. Mrs. Bailey is on the phone. I don't want Mrs. Bailey. I want my wife. <laughs> Mrs. Bailey. That's all. That's my wife. <laughs> 320 Sycamore. Well, what? Whose home's that? The Waldorf Hotel. Huh? Oh. oh. A little bit of hotel fun. Oh. oh. Okay. This oh. is her honeymoon. Yeah. This is like oh, really this. sweet of her. Yeah. She organized it while he was yeah. stressed out. Oh, Bridal nice. suite. Hiya, uh, Good evening, sir. Entree. Oh, that's perfect. I'd be so happy. Yeah, that's really sweet. They couldn't <laughs> have their real honeymoon, but this is a compromise. <laughs> they get it in a haunted house, even better. <laughs> she is a darling. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I love it. That's perfect. Aww. Oh, the travel poster. She is really, really thoughtful. That's impressive. <laughs> Welcome home, Mr. Bailey. Oh, well. I'll be down, Miss Bailey. Where did you? Aww. Remember the night we broke the windows in this old house? This is what I wished for. Oh, Well, I wish. She got it. I knew she wished for him to stay and yeah. you know, marry her yeah. or something like that. Oh, she has a kid now. <laughs> Oh wow, I don't have a lot of kids. Is that all his kids? <laughs> I wonder how much time has passed. Yeah. They still look the same age. Yeah. Bailey Park. I guess the bank worked out then. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Martini, welcome home. Oh. Hello, George. He's always making a speech. We give people houses. That's awesome. Bread, that this house may never know hunger. Oh, oh that's sweet. Salt. George. I am an old man. Most people hate me, but I don't like them either, so that makes it all even. At least he knows. Yeah. Hire me. Yeah, I want you to manage my affairs, run my properties. I'll start you out at $20,000 a year. That's pretty damn good, especially for this time. Yeah. A couple of business trips to New York a year, maybe once in a while Europe. That's kind of a great deal. What's the catch? Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, it's probably a catch. I don't need 24 hours. I, I don't have to talk to anybody. I know right now. And the answer is no, no. Do you think the whole world revolves around you and your money? Well, it doesn't, Mr. Potter. Glad. I would have at least discussed it with my wife. Maybe, yeah. It doesn't I'd hurt. Yeah. What, you, you want the moon? If you do, just say the word. I'll throw a lasso over and pull her down. That's really romantic, actually. Yeah. Why, why in the world do you ever marry a guy like me? I want my baby to look like you. <laughs> <laughs> What what is it? A boy or a girl? Mm-hmm. Both? Well, mm -hmm. Both? George never leaves Bedford Falls. Aww. Mary had her baby, a boy. Then she had another one, a girl. Day after day, she worked away remaking the old Granville house into a home. Oh, wow. Yeah. Night after night, George came back late from the office. He's so sad. This morning, day before Christmas, about 10 a.m., Bedford Falls time. Really? A mention of Christmas. <laughs> uh, we're all excited around here. My brother just got the Congressional Medal of Honor. The president just decorated him. Well, I trust you had a good year. Ah, uh, well, uh, between I you and me, so. Mr. Carter, we're broke. <gasps> oh, maybe not. Uh, right stop right stop having so many kids. Well, Harry Bailey wins Congressional Medal. You just can't keep those Baileys down. Now, can you, Mr. Father? I'm just surprised Potter's still alive as yeah. well. <laughs> Honestly, that man won't die. And Potter and Gower, I'm just like, oh, it's been many years. Well, aren't you going to make a deposit? Oh, sure, sure I am. <laughs> well, then it's usually customary to bring the money with you. Huh. Uh-oh. Mm. No. No. Oh. Is he going to do the honest thing? Of course he's not. But he's so rich. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need, like, oh no. 
50 bucks it probably is. Oh, are you can't be kidding. That's so petty. As like an old man. Yes. It doesn't matter about the money. It's just Justin. doing it to be. Well, hello, Vi. Hey. George, can I see you for a second? Pilot. Well, of yeah. course it's in the dollars. It's got to be somewhere. 8,000? Oh, I was just like, oh, it's probably 50 bucks. <laughs> no, 8 grand. 8,000 bucks. Oh. What's the matter with you? Oh no, this bad news. Where's that money, you silly, stupid old fool? No. Where's that money? Wow, he's really losing his cool. It means bankruptcy and scandal and prison. That's what it means. One of us is going to jail. Well, it's not going to be me. I mean, I can understand. Yeah, it's, stressful. it's a very stressful situation. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Everything's alright. Nothing's the matter. Come on, dude. It's your wife. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Your mother's so excited. Oh, poor George Bailey. Damn, I never knew a Christmas movie could be this sad. George, he's what's get, wrong? He's getting wrong that everything. way again. Well, you call this a happy family. Why do we have to have all these kids? Dad, how do you spell Frankenstein? I don't know. That's your mother. <gasps> Where are you going? Going up to see Zeus. Hi, Daddy. There's another one. What happened to you? <laughs> She's cute. This little girl is probably like a grandma right now. <laughs> How do you spell hallelujah? How should I know? What do you think I am? A dictionary? Tommy, stop that. Stop it. Janie, haven't you learned that silly tune yet? You play it over and over again. Now stop it. Stop it. Oh. Wow. Oh, he's crying. Sorry, Mary. Janie, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I, you go on and practice. Oh, she's like, I don't want to anymore. What's the matter with everybody? Janie, go on. I told you to practice. Now go on, play. Oh, Daddy. Oh, that was not the best behavior. Hello, Uncle Billy? She's going to find out oh, now. Yeah. I've got to raise $8,000 immediately. Oh, and he's oh, got that exact rewarded. amount. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to swear out a warrant for your arrest. What? Misappropriation of funds, manipulation. Malfeasance. Wow. He literally stole $8,000. That's illegal. But I wish the dude he was with would say something. Yeah. He just lets me get on with it. Your father in heaven, show me the way. How about the end of my rope? Right? Are you all right, George? Will somebody take you home? Huh? This poor man. Please go home, Mr. Bailey. This is Christmas Eve. <gasps> what was that for? What the heck? He's driving drinking. drunk. Yeah. Oh no, oh, you don't want to be on a bridge. No. I wonder how drunk he is. Like, is he tipsy or is he. He's stumbling around a yeah. lot. Yeah. I mean, he did, he did crash into a tree as well. True. Um, oh. Help! A harp sound effect. Help! Oh, and it's so cold, that water. Help! Yeah, you're being helped, mate. I didn't have time to get some stylish underwear. Wife gave me this on my last birthday. <laughs> I passed away in it. I passed away? I passed? What? Yeah, Clarence, I remember he was in the oh, sky. Oh, the star. oh, oh, oh yeah. right. How did you happen to fall in? I didn't fall in. I jumped in to save George. Yeah. To save me? You didn't go through with it, did you? Through with what? Suicide. Oh. I'm surprised he said the S word in 1947. Where do you come from? Heaven. Yeah. Heaven? How do you know my name? I have a shirt like oh, that. Lord. Do you? <laughs> I do. Angel, second class. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't believe that. <laughs> Why would you leave? Why do you want to save me? That's what I was sent down for. I'm your guardian angel. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. <laughs> What happened to your wings? I've got to earn them by letting me help you. You don't happen to have 8,000 bucks on you. Oh, you? no, no. We don't use money in heaven. Oh, yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting. <laughs> you just don't know all that you've done. If it hadn't been for you... Yeah, it... if it hadn't been for me, everybody would be a lot better off. My wife and my kids and my friends... That's and my... Look, not look, true. Look, no. I suppose it would have been better if I'd never been born at all. What'd you say? I said I wish I'd never been born. Wait a minute. That's an idea. I honestly think that'd be so interesting to see what it would actually yeah, be like if you weren't born. Yeah. As a 
spectator especially like do you have siblings yes yeah like, i want to see what their lives would be, like would be yeah you. you've never been born you haven't a care in the world no worries no obligations no uh -oh. income dollars to get oh his no ears pretty fine for you with a... say something else not here sure you yeah. hear out of it oh well, don't want to see who my heart. wife is with you though no <laughs> sam probably yeah uh, 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 uh. What's the matter? Oh, his car's not well, there. Well, this is where I left he doesn't my have car. A car. Yeah. Isn't here. He's, He's not understanding. He's a little bit trees. slow here. You must mean two other trees. One of the oldest trees in Pottersville. Pottersville. Oh, he would have changed the name, of course. That's why. Pottersville. Yeah. It sounds terrible. I, hate it. I don't know. Either I'm off my nut or he is. Or you are. Everyone. Isn't he? Well, come on, Gabriel. Clarence. Clarence, Clarence. <laughs> I mean, that is an angel's yeah. name, so I don't blame him. Hey, you roomy there. Come in. Come in. Oh. He's become an alcoholic. Didn't I oh, because he was never there no. for him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't you know me? Oh. Trauma. Oh, Trauma. Mr. Gower. Oh, it's shocking. But it makes sense because he was the one that helped him. Yeah. That rumhead spent 20 years in jail for poisoning a kid. If you know him, you must be a jailbird yourself. Oh, uh, he went through with it with the pills. Hey, what's going on around here? Well, this ought to be Martini's place. Are you getting it, dude? It's because you were not born. I'd be so curious to see who my partner's with, though. Yeah, I would too. I hope she's not with Sam. You're driving me crazy, too. I'm seeing things here. I'm going home and see my wife and family. You understand that? And I'm going home alone. Good luck. How am I doing, Joseph? Well, I didn't have a drink. Better not have. It's not very angelic. This is definitely Pottersville. Mm. <laughs> what? She a celebrity. The Bailey building alone was up there. They went out of business years ago. <laughs> Why? Ernie, take me home. I'm going off my nut. Where do you live? On a dog gone it, Ernie. Don't you start pulling that stuff. You know where it wouldn't be your home. Now you're Ernie Bishop, and you live in Bailey Park with your wife and kid. That's right, isn't it? I live in a shack in Pottersfield. My wife ran away three years ago and took the kid, and I've never away. seen you before in my life. See? Okay. Everyone's doing it. terrible. Yeah. Is this the place? Of course it's the place. Well, this house ain't been lived in for 20 years. Years. All right, put up your hands. No fast moves. Look, now, why don't you be a good kid and we'll take you into a doctor. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> I think it's crazy. He says he's an angel. He's trying to handle it. It does sound crazy. He does. Mother, this, this is George. George who? Well, I know everybody you know. They don't know you, though. Well, you, your brother-in-law, Uncle Billy. When did you see him last? Today, over at his house. It's a lie. He's been in the insane asylum ever since he lost his business. Oh, and if you wow. Ask me, that's where you He's also doing terribly. Mm. Now, the last man I talked to before all this stuff started happening to me was Martini. You know where he lives? Well, sure I know where he lives. He lives in Bailey Park. Are you sure this is Bailey Park? Oh, God. But where are the houses? We went here to build them. Bailey. Oh, Harry oh. Bailey. Broke through the ice and was drowned at the age of nine. Oh, oh yeah. He saved him. He, he saved his life. Yeah, that's oh, true. Every man on that transport died. Harry wasn't there to save them because you weren't there wow. to save Harry. You really had a wonderful life. Eight years old. I don't know how you know these things, but tell me, where is she? I'm if you know where she is, tell me where my wife is. Not your wife. She's an old maid. She never married. Where is my wife? Oh. Where is she? That's not she bad. never married. She's just about to close up the library. A librarian. Oh, she is she? different. She still looks hot, Harry. though. Yes, yeah, that's not bad. At least she's not with someone else. Don't you know me? What's happened to us? I don't know. You let me go. Mary, please. Oh, don't do this to me. Please, Mary. Oh. Where's our kids? I need you, Mary. <laughs> that's so scary. Oh, no. <laughs> Imagine you're walking down the road one day. Some random man does that to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Whoa. Assaulting a police officer. Back at the bridge. Jump in again. Get me back. I don't care what happens to me. Get me back to my wife and kids. Yeah, now he's grateful. Hey, George. Oh, you yeah, all right? He's back. I've been looking all over town trying to find you. Hey, your mouth's bleeding. Are you sure you're all right? I'm back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about that? Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry! Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah. What a great name. <laughs> yeah, that's a great name. Yeah! <laughs> he's so grateful. Merry Christmas, you wonderful old building alone! 
I hope Potter doesn't get away with stealing eight grand. Sure you're not. Happy New Year to you in jail. Yeah. Go on home, they're waiting for you. <laughs> Mary! Mr. Bailey, there's a death. Isn't it wonderful? I'm going to jail. Merry Christmas, report. <laughs> Oh, look at this wonderful old drafty house. Mary! <laughs> Loving it now. Have you seen Please. my wife? Mary, 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 She's done something cool. Oh, George, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. But she made a call to bank, so she's found out on her own as well oh, earlier. Okay. George, oh, everyone wow. called through. She's amazing. She's what honestly, queen. yeah, she is a queen. Incredible. The kids are confused. Everyone. Wow. How blessed. She's just so supportive. I don't think. <laughs> if I ever get a husband. <laughs> Oh, how awesome. Now get this. It's from London. My office instructed to advance you up to $25,000. Wow. Hey-haw and Merry Christmas, Sam. 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 He's annoying but generous. Oh, Good I can't Sam. hate him anymore after that. Yeah, I can't hate Sam. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected him to do that. No, same. Oh, it's a Christmas miracle. It really is. Harry's alive! Yes! Oh, I left right in the middle of it. As soon as I got Mary's telegram. Good idea, Ernie. A toast. Oh, we made it <laughs> for to my his big brother, George, brother, the richest man in town. Hey. <laughs> Not just in money. Yeah, lots of friends yeah. that care about him. Family, love. It's a failure who has friends. Thanks for oh. the wings, Clarence. Oh, he that's wings. nice. Yay! Look Super it, nice. <gasps> He goes wings. Yeah. <gasps> she knows. Great movie. That was really oh, cool. So cute. So Katie and I have watched two Christmas movies today. We watched Klaus. Yep. And It's a Wonderful Life. Klaus was more recent, 2019, yeah, yeah. and this was obviously very old. Very um, old. But to be honest, I I mean I love both of those films, but I think It's a Wonderful Life was the better one for me. Yeah. Like I loved. The artwork um, of Klaus, but the, this A Wonderful Life was so Christmassy and put me in the mood for it, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, totally. And with It's a Wonderful Life, even though it didn't feel like a Christmas movie until probably an hour and 30 to 40 minutes into the film, once Clarence, and actually, I even forgot about Clarence. <laughs> like, I forgot his name for 100% because the beginning felt like so long ago. It was only really a Christmas movie from that very beginning scene that we saw. Mm -hmm. And then towards the very end, for the most part, it was a build up for the George Bailey character, his life. We see him as a child. Yeah. There's a bunch of scenes. A lot of backstory. Lots of backstory. And there are a lot of scenes that are in there for the purpose of the angel to come back and be like, hey, Remember these things mm. that you did, like saving yeah. his brother, saving Mr. Gower as well. And then all of the things that he did for his town, everything that this man did impacted everybody around mm. him. And I very reflective movie, super reflective Thinking about the impact you made on other people and inspiring to think about, I guess, our impacts on yeah. the year as well. Yeah. On people's lives and things too. Absolutely. Because like it raised a pretty interesting question. I asked this while we were watching it and uh, you were wondering as well, mm. like what would life be like if we neither of us had existed? Because yeah. we both have siblings. We both yeah. have like people in our lives mm -hmm. that we wonder what their lives would be like if we weren't in them. Sounds awful. It sounds, bad for them. we don't actually realize the impact we make on other people's lives yeah. until we see it 
in this way and we will probably never know what that's no. like because we don't live in magical fantasy <laughs> fantasy land where angels come from out of the sky just to help us out but that makes you really think like what christmas time is all about oh, really like, absolutely being reflective thinking about your family your loved ones he said my life is worth more if I was dead. Well, Potter told him that because of his life insurance. So I think that's why he wanted to end it so that he could help his family yeah. out. Again, that's another thing that if he did would have made an impact on everyone in his yeah. life too. Absolutely. So it might have helped actions. them temporarily for like a, maybe a year at best or but two years. Lost their father and husband and friend. Yeah, exactly. But then at the end of the day, their kids would have no dad. And Mary was like, so in love with like you see some marriages and you're just like oh yeah no love there but those two you could feel the love yes in sure. there they had a lot of bad moments as well where he would kind of take out all of his frustrations on his wife or his kids but again you mentioned this yeah during the reaction with, what was um, it was man's name mr gower yeah so when, that was how he was treated when he was young and as a child you tend to learn yeah from your environments it was definitely learned behavior mm. because generally george bailey is a great man oh, but yeah, absolutely i think that moment with mr gower because mr gower was so big in his life as yes. he was growing up he really saw that and thought hey that's a way to react when you're upset that's how i'm meant to react that's how no. i'm meant to react we don't think about it consciously but it definitely mm. impacts us so that was an another important yeah, scene that sort of that really interesting. made us think yeah. he sort of lost sight of the important things in his life mm. and it wasn't until he did have that time to reflect and see and speculate what things would be like for everybody around him and yeah it was really reflective it was more about life in general yeah being grateful relationships relationships family Christmas and that's what I think made it more a Christmas movie yeah, that gratefulness yeah, and that family I mean, community yeah end of the year is like a time to really think about what you've done that year your actions For consequences sure. and things this was our introduction to this director Frank Capra as well as all of these actors I've never seen them act before yeah. but I thought they all did a really good job Lionel Barrymore. Any relation to Drew Barrymore? We were trying know, to. Just, we were trying I to. I noticed the last name, and yeah. I was like, "Hmm, maybe great grandfather or something <laughs> like." But yeah, he played Mr. Potter. I thought he did a really good job because we well yeah. and truly hated him. Yeah, very Scrooge kind yeah. of character. Yeah, I mean, Hazelwood. Scrooge McDuck. In, no, like Ebenezer Scrooge. I don't know who that is. We're from like Christmas. What's it called? Christmas Carol? No, Christmas. Oh, I haven't seen that. Another, watch it. Okay, it's another film that I need to watch. It's adding on to my list of movies <laughs> that I've never watched before in my life. But yes, uh, Lionel Barrymore, he played a really great villain, hated him throughout. He was just such a deplorable character and he was written he, he in... He never got his comeuppance. No, he didn't. And you thought maybe he could because it's a Christmas movie. Yeah, well, I guess I guess the, the message there is that it doesn't matter. Mm. Like, the most important thing was... George was fine, his family yeah. were all right. Everyone came together in the end. Everyone did. That yeah. sense of community was so strong. It was. And I don't know if it's an olden day thing, but it's not something that you would see Nowadays. your community, no, your local no. community, the I mean, suburb he you live all in. all of those people as well. Yeah, he did. Um, and they came through for him. Yeah. It was such a beautiful story. Donna Reed, absolutely beautiful. Mm, she, that character, gorgeous. Mary just an what angel queen. yeah absolute angel angel on earth yeah if clarence was one of his angels she was another one absolutely she was his guardian angel such a good and supportive wife mm. built that house yes <laughs> oh, yeah, I say that. like <laughs> how amazing is that Incredible like while he was off working she Stressing. did yeah he didn't have time to worry about the house mm. she did it all and it's just a perfect example of how two people build a life for one another. Work together. Like, work together to build a life. When someone's struggling, they step up. And when they're struggling, they step up. That's step what up. it's about. And it was just such a beautiful representation mm. of a healthy, healthy relationship. Yeah. Even when he wouldn't communicate properly, 
she just I feel like she knew that it that wasn't him that was yeah him. she knew that like he was stressing something's wrong and then she like looked into it and yeah. because of that and she figured the community out what was going on. Yeah. came through because of her mm. so I thought that was awesome yeah. Donna Reed absolutely amazing job and James Stewart as well this was our introduction to yeah. James Stewart yeah. he did an amazing job leading role I loved this film and yeah. I'm so lovely. surprised i've never heard about it before i'm just Very wholesome super wholesome really really good such a great christmas movie and a classic let us know what you thought yeah. of it's a wonderful life down in the comment section below do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed mm -hmm. it really helps my channel out make sure to check out katie's youtube channel her instagram her twitter as well that's going to be linked in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below along with all of my social media handles as well and my two other channels. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, Bye. everyone.